At the Roundhouse today, state lawmakers are discussing legislation surrounding the safe surrender of newborns. House Bill 157 comes on the heels of a newborn being thrown in a dumpster in Hobbs, allegedly by his mother, 18-year-old Alexis Avila. The bill would have several components, first allowing the installation and operation of surrender safety devices. It's a location where a baby can be safe up to 30 minutes. It sets off an alarm when an infant is placed inside. They'll be put at places like hospitals, police stations, or fire stations. Second, the bill would protect parents from criminal prosecution if an infant is left at a safe haven site or inside one of those surrender devices. The bill would also allocate $70,000 for public education, focusing on raising awareness among middle and high schoolers. But when they're in college somewhere else, they're going to remember that they can take a newborn to a fire station or a newborn to a hospital based on the training um, and education that they received in high school. Once they get out of high school, there's no guarantees they're ever going to get that information anywhere. The bill passed the Health and Human Services Committee with a 7-3 to three vote.